Welcome back, YouTubers. Today, uh, I got this a few months ago, and I haven't really had the need to use it. Well, today, I really need it, and I hope it doesn't let me down, because I, I really need this. This is going to shine, or it's going to fail. Uh, it's the Avid Power, dual power. It's 12 volt or 120 volt. Uh, it's a inflator and a deflator, so it does high volume uh, and low low volume, high pressure. And here it is. Take it out of the package. Uh, looks like we got directions, but I don't think we're going to need that. Uh, this is nice. I've already looked at it. Um, it's got the 12 volt that plugs into your cigarette lighter right there and the 110 cord conveniently out of the way on the bottom of the unit. Uh, here's your high volume hose. Uh, about this hose, I had an issue with this hose and I left a review about it and the company, it's a great company because they actually contacted me and they made this right. I got a brand new hose they sent me. Uh, no questions asked, so very upstanding company in my view. Uh, there's the front of it. It's got digital readout. Uh, you can have your pick of, you know, what country in, I guess. Ours is PSI. It does bar and it does KPA, whatever the hell that is. But it does them all. And uh, here's the light. And you pick the power that you're on here. This looks like the AC power, so you push this switch that way. And we're going to use the AC. And if you're going to use that uh, DC power cord, it looks like they give you quite a bit too. That's cool. That's nice. A lot of these, you know, don't give you a lot. Of Over here is a USB, uh, and it's blue, so I believe it's a fast charger for your quick phones. Oh, that's cool. It's got a nice little dust cover. Um, that's, uh, we want it on AC. Okay, a uh, beach ball would be high volume, and that's using a hose. This hose hooks to, oh, that's a nice light right here. Nice if it's at night. But that hose, this hose, high volume, hooks right to here. And, Outlet. Okay, so this blows the air into your toy or air mattress, whatever you're going to blow up. And imagine this sucks the air back out, so it's easier to fold up and store uh, like your air mattress, beach balls, uh, pool toys. I mean, this this is going to be used a lot. I like that. And uh, let's see. Okay, your air hose is what we're going to use today is right here it stores wraps around oh man okay they they give you a lot of air hose it goes all the way over to here and it's nice because this is the tire hose and it, it points towards the end of where the lights on i like that feature uh so let's get the let's get the cord out here i'll show you why i need it today and uh okay Right here, there's a little slot where this goes. So if you set it down, it's not, uh, right here, a little slot. So if you set this down, it's not actually pinching on the cord. That's a nice feature. So let's go over to what I need this for. Uh, I want to get my garden rototilled. And check this out, guys. The tire's right off the rim. And this is really going to be hard to put. These small tires are hard to put back on the rim. I'll show you a little trick that I that I learned about them. I'm going to set you guys down this way. And for a second, so I can plug the compressor in. And we're going to get the cord out. We're going to get this cord out. It stores in here it comes actually pulls it out there's a little let's see there's a little divot that, that hooks onto it's pretty cool 
Um, so, oh, sorry guys. Flipped over. But I'm taking the cord out. And there it is. And check this out. There is a lot of cord here. Can you see that? That's, I mean, I don't know, I'm six foot. There's got to be two, two to two and a half feet of air hose. That's pretty cool. Um, plugged in to AC. That starts hit. That's AC. Uh, we got to find out how much we got to put into this. That's usually on the side of the tire here. And uh, you gotta block it up. I got a piece of wood here. And I'm gonna lift this up and slide this wood up under it. Okay, I think it's. Yeah, that's under it. Okay, I put, just put the wood in it to lift the tire up. And uh, let's see, we're gonna find out how much goes in here. Yeah, it says inflate to 20 pounds max. 20 pounds per square inch, okay? So we're gonna come over to our thing here, and we're gonna go PSI, right there I guess, and 20, put on 20, 20. Okay, I guess this is the light. Yep. That switch controls that light. We're not gonna nice bright out today. But these are kind of a pain if you don't know how to put these on. And I hope this little compressor can do it. Uh, I got faith that it will. I take the cap off, put it someplace where you're not gonna lose it. We're set at 20. Okay, so just hopefully it's in focus. I gotta adjust it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? I gotta kind of move that feet out. Okay, so hey, I think that's gonna show what I'm gonna do here, so I can get that tire on that rim. And you do this just so you can get it started. And what you need is one of these uh, strap tie downs. Right here. And you go around the tire. Like this. this and you see the gap here we're trying to get that gap to push over onto the rim so that it'll take air hopefully I can do this with one hand make sure this is in the center of your tire like that. okay the webbing is in the center of the tire the tire has no air in it so okay you see what's happening Tires going over to the rim, and I think, ah, perfect, I think that's going to do it. Okay, so we got to be careful because we got to just get this started and then take that off. So we're going to put this on right here. It's nice because it locks on. And then we're going to hit the, uh, where is it? It's on the tire. We're going to hit the tire one. And we're gonna watch the tire and watch it and hopefully it takes air. And it is, see it going onto the rim? And uh, that's it. We don't wanna put too much in or it's gonna be a bitch to get this off. So this is, we gotta take this off now. 
those damn tires. Let me set you down for a second. I think you can see that. This tire is going to be moved over. back to normal here. Okay, now, now that's on the rim, it'll take air. So we're gonna go up to, put it back on tire. We're on AC, put it on tire. so easy so now we just want to shut this off and so there's the same amount of air in each side I'm gonna go over to the other side on that same setting my valve cap on the same setting and make sure there's same amount of air so because if you don't these kind of tend to want to wander to one side or the other so I'm gonna go over to the other side I like this. I like this inflator a lot. This was a good uh, purchase. And I take my top, my cap off, and hook my hose up. I'll show this and doing other things that I need to do with it. And uh, okay, okay, see. It's telling me this only had three in it, so yeah, it really needs air. So I really like that feature that it tells you. It says 3.5, so it's on AC, tire. and let this machine shut off just like it did and you'd have a better chance of going straight with the tiller in the garden all right guys i guess that's it for this little video but uh first time with this uh, avid power station here oh it's got little little other attachments gives you lots of options a little cover that comes off and stamps back on uh, oh, rubber feet and it's bumped up so it it's not gonna vibrate all over on you uh, yeah, I gotta tell you this is a well thought out piece of uh, equipment that's gonna be it's one of those things that's actually gonna be used I mean I'm actually gonna use this and uh, I want to thank Avid or whoever it was, I think it was Avid, that replaced my hose. This thing popped off. I think it was over here. And it had a little plastic strap that connected this to this. So, I mean, I just put it here. I hope I never lose it. But they sent me a whole new tube. Um, so I want to thank them. And uh, so, stand up company. On a, a real nice. Uh, not real heavy seniors can can easily use that uh, very happy with that purchase it just helped me out and uh, I got to get to work so uh, until next time out